Hey, welcome to your Windows 8 lessons channel. And today is not, it's a lesson, but it's not numbered as a lesson. It's more of a tips video. And there's going to be many of those tips videos throughout the series of lessons. Because some of the information sometimes requires um, to be completed with something that's basically information that a lot of people know, the majority of people knows, but there's still enough people that don't know that information that it can actually block them from understanding how to work through the lessons. We're going to talk about email address and web addresses, the difference. A lot of people don't know the difference and I often have someone that says, oh I wanted to see your website and I can't, it doesn't work. But the problem is that they took the email address and put it in the toolbar in Internet Explorer and don't understand why it doesn't work. And the uh, reverse can be true, although I've never seen really the reverse in general. So, first of all, a email address always, and this is a 100% sure thing, it always has a at symbol. The at symbol is that little, uh, I just made it blue here, that's what we call the at symbol. So that is everywhere in email addresses. It's impossible to write an email if you don't have an at symbol inside the address of the person that you're writing to. That's the first thing. The example I've shown here, abcd at utmel.com. Now, the first part of the address is usually the name or the um, letters or the um, basically the suffix that ev uh, the people just want to use. And the second part is the email provider. So here I've done an example with utmel.com, but it can be really, really a wide variety. So depending on the uh, internet service provider and depending on the service, the email service, the second part of the address can be really, really, really different, but usually has at least two words or basically you'll have two string of characters that are separated by a comma. So here, hotmail, comma, com. The, there's always a separation. So there's always at least two. You cannot have uh, ABCD at hotmail and that's it. That's not going to work. There's always at least two or more because there could be three or four. I've seen very long email addresses. So remember that an at symbol means it's an email. It means you're writing to someone or you're writing to a company. It's, that's very important to know. Web addresses on the other side never use at symbols. Actually, that's a forbidden symbol in a web browser. So you cannot, and there aren't any at symbols inside web addresses. So the address of the web site will be entered in Internet Explorer and it will either start with www dot something dot something. It's at least two different string of characters or two words separated by a, a comma. So at least two words or two strings of characters separated by a comma. For example, you can go to hotmail.com without even putting the www. Why? Because the three W's yeah, I have examples here of www.newyorktimes.com or uh, you can go do a internet speed test with speedtest.net. That's an address also. And it doesn't have the W's. So it gives you an idea. And actually, email addresses can be very long also. The three W's are optional. The browser adds it automatically to any websites that requires the three W. So that's something to know. So just remember that email addresses have at symbols 
and web addresses never have add symbols. That's the major difference to know if you're writing to someone or if you want to go see a website. Hope that helps the people that might have been a little in the dark on how to um, you know, make a difference between um, how you can write someone or you can go to a web page. So if it has an ad symbol, you'll use it in your email address. So you'll go into your email, either with the email app or if you're using a Gmail or Hotmail through the web. That's where you need to enter that email address because you're writing to someone. And if it doesn't have an ad symbol, then you need to use Internet Explorer and put that in the browser address. That's how it's going to work. If you have any comments, questions, don't hesitate, maybe suggestions. If you like our videos and our series on helping you uh, use Windows 8.1, please subscribe to our channel. It's free and you'll be um, learning with us how to use Windows 8.1 to the maximum. And uh, hopefully you enjoy our videos and we'll come back to the Windows 8.1 channel and watch our videos to help you learn. Bye-bye.